one that would start the issues for Kaufman. That one was not the most powerful punch that Ortiz has landed, but it did knock him off balance and yeah, probably and also justifiably. Partially rapid punch, yeah. so sometimes that hurts a little more. Yeah, and certainly could justifiably be called a knockdown. Kaufman trying to be aggressive and putting himself in position to get hit with that uh, punch yep. good, to the good, head. It is good counter. Yeah, it's certainly. Behind the ears. Borderline yeah. rapid punch, but of course, Thomas Taylor's not going to see that. He's on the other no. side. I don't know what's next for uh, Luz Ortiz. By the time he steps back in the ring on his birth certificate, his American birth certificate, we don't know his Cuban birth certificate, birth certificate say, but on his American birth certificate in March, he'll be 40 years old. And looking at it, that's probably the next time he'll step into the ring. 30 and 1 with 26 KOs. He stopped uh tra wait, did wait, that was uh the la the la yeah, it was the last round. He stopped uh Travis Kaufman in the last round. Travis Kaufman wasn't really just like hurt and like fucked up. He just was outclassed, out schooled. In fact, it looked like uh it seemed like Luz Ortiz could turn up anytime he wanted to. Hold on, because we're gonna wait for the post fight interview. Let me pause it. Looked like he can turn up whenever, anytime he wanted to. He just wanted to get the rounds in. But fighting on a big card like like that, like I said earlier, before they took my video down, is, you know, I wish he would have went for the knockout sooner. Because he's trying to sell himself. But also, yeah, he's trying to lower other fighters in to fight him. Because look at the heavyweight division. Now that you know that Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder ended in a draw, those fighters are still in this unofficial heavyweight tournament. Dylan White is taking on Derek Chisora. That would be a really good fight. But depending on what Dylan White wants to do, Dominic Brazil, you know, honestly, I would like to see Luis Ortiz versus Dominic Brazil. Because if Dylan White don't fight both of them, or, or them, and you got to think of the political divide with uh, a network divide with uh, the zone now. Dylan White fights on the zone because of his affiliation with Eddie Hearn and Sky Sports. Luis Ortiz was already over there with Hearn. Things didn't really work out for him too well. Listen to the post fight interview. Did I pause it? Consecutive fight yeah, in Los Angeles. And I thought a good stoppage in the end. You know, yeah. uh, Kaufman wanted to continue, but I thought a good stoppage in the end. Taylor gave him all the chances he could, uh, and, and, and Kaufman wasn't going to quit on his own, so somebody had to get him out of there in, in that particular moment. So, um, like I was saying, oh, I'm trying to figure out what could be next. You know, Adam Kwanowski. Would you be cool with Loser Tease versus um, Charles Martin? Kubert Pulev is the IBF mandatory. The WBA is scared to, stip, to strip Manuel Char. Gerald Bigby Miller is after that, but he can't get a shot before Fresno Quindo gets his. I think they should revisit um, um, Gerald Miller versus uh, Fresno Quindo and make sure Vada testing is, is in place because that's what Fresno Quindo wants. He wants Vada testing to make sure he gets a fair playing field because he has been trying to get a fight despite the fact that he's been mandatory for like fucking four Gentlemen, years. Gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 58 seconds in round number 10. Our referee in charge. But understand, there's a lot of fights that we would want to see. You know what I mean? What about Joseph Parker? What if Deontay Wilder go after Joseph Parker? The heavy, I love the heavyweight division, man, because it's, it's, it's deep. But it's also top heavy deep, like where there's a lot of really good guys at the top. Let's listen to Luis Ortiz and this weird question Jim Gray is going to ask him. Fight. Felix De Jesus will translate for us. You know, you dominated this fight. You knocked him down in the sixth round, the eighth round, and the tenth round. Um, how would you assess this performance here tonight? It was dominant in my eyes and the eyes of the uh, Showtime announcers. Esta pelea lo dominaste, lo noqueaste en el seis, en el ocho, en el diez, lo tumbaste. ¿Cómo te pareció esta pelea para ti hoy? No. Dominante. Fue algo que que eh, venimos en nuestro team eh, que no no hacía falta eh, terminar el contrario que se necesitaba ver. I'm going to that King Kong tiene preparación, King Kong tiene boxeo y que todavía sigue para adelante. Yeah, we were, it was a team thing that we didn't have to knock him down, but we wanted to show everything that we have in our uh, repertoire, and we showed it tonight. How difficult was it for you to come back after suffering the loss to Deontay in your last fight? Qué difícil fue venir otra vez después de perder How do you think Luis Ortiz really is? Yo soy un guerrero. Yo soy un guerrero. It's y nada Cuban me I'm a warrior and nothing detains me. 
What would you like to do now? I say 47. Um, Obviously, there'll be a championship fight coming up here tonight with Fury and Wilder. Uh, would you like Wilder again or the winner of that fight? ¿Qué quiere hacer ahora? Claro, viene la pelea de campeonato de Wilder frente a Fury. ¿Qué quiere hacer tú? ¿Qué quiero hacer yo ahora? Después que se pelea, pelea contra Wilder. Of course, con el ganador. Pero yo quiero volver a pelear con Wilder. Yo sé que que él tiene tiene el espíritu de campeón, de padre, de familia. Eh, es atlético, no, no va con, con nadie fácil, sé que va, hoy tiene una pelea difícil, pero me gustaría la revancha otra vez. No, of course he says that he'll fight the winner of this fight of Wilder or Fury, but that he knows that Wilder has a lot of spirit, he also has a family fight or whatever, draw, so he kind of wants that second uh, fight with Wilder. Who do you think will win? ¿Quién tú crees que va a ganar esta pelea? This is boxing. I watch it and the shit, and the shit, and the shit. You're going to be watching. I can even yeah. uh, translate yeah. that. Congratulations, I'm Luis. I'm content today because. Like I said, how how uh, old do you think his real Cuban, El Cubano, um, birth certificate say? You know, he really. I well, I believe he really does have high blood pressure from you know the information that's been given to us in regards to that failed drug test but however the way he went about it was wrong by not declaring it on the uh on on the sheet it made it seem like he was trying to hide something and also it can be used as a diuretic to flush your system or something like that right nonetheless he got the fight but now with this with this you know with these fighters tied up and you know the political like where does he fit in he's got to be active and he's got to start eliminating guys same for all those guys but him since he's the older of the bunch you know, the skilled but older, skilled but older, it's hard for him to get fights because people know he's good. You know, he's got to be more, I don't know. I don't know what they can do for him. Like who, what can be his next logical big fight? Unless Deontay Wilder says, you know what? You know, unless the Tyson Fury, like for example, who's Tyson Fury going to, ah, we're going to be here all day talking about this. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. All links to my social media right down below in the description box.